Okay, we're back on the uh, VT1400 grid. Um, let's talk about, uh, in our overview section, let's talk about this uh, UEN infrastructure map. I'm going to go ahead and uh, click on this map. It really has some, uh, some interesting pieces of information. Um, UEN stands for Utah Educational Network. So this is the network infrastructure map that connects Utah e educational, public, higher ed, uh, and other institutions uh, throughout the state of Utah. Well, what's interesting about it is you can kind of see uh, where there are really fast network connections and where there are not so fast network connections. If you notice at the top left-hand side, it, it gives you kind of a little, uh, a little key to the, to the thing. It says that the green connections, so from Utah State back to the University of Utah, you've got a 10 gigabits per second backbone connection. So what that would be is that's a, a really, really fast network connection with lots of uh, data capability. Note that the darker, the kind of thicker blue lines in this, in this chart show network connections coming in at a gigabit per second, uh, and that's part of the backbone. And then you have a lighter blue one that have gigabit uh, per second connections, but that aren't part of the backbone. Um, and you've got some orange ones that are one gigabit per second ethernet connections, uh, some more uh, what would you call that color? Pinkish. Uh, those are coming in at about 155 megabits per second. So if you you know if you look at this, that that's a significant decrease from the gigabit. You're looking at uh, you know uh, quite a slow connection at that point. Then there's another a, a number of other ones. Uh, you know from 155 megabit per second microwave to which is a different kind of connection infrastructure to 45 megabits per second, to microwave 45 megabits per second, and then they've got the POPs or the point of presences uh, at each of the locations like USU, Weber State, U of U, Dixie, etc. So as you look, you can kind of see where the connections are, and there are over um, 1,300 connections in Utah to different uh, schools and, and locations and you can see the speeds to each of those connections and our network speeds. So if you look at Dixie College, you know, uh, you could play a little game. What, what, what kind of speeds does Dixie College get back into the UEN network? Well, if you note down here and you scroll down, it goes from Dixie to SUU to Richfield, you're looking at a connection speed that's one gigabit per second backbone connection. Then once it hits Richfield, between Richfield and UVU, it goes to a 10 gigabit per second uh, backbone connection. So it's a, it's a pretty substantial connection to those key locations. Um, anyway, I just thought that this was a, a great way to visualize uh, Internet infrastructure because the public sector mimics what goes on really in the private sector. I mean, if you were to look at a private set work, sector network infrastructure map, it, it would be similar to this kind of, a, kind of a look if it's a larger network. So that gives you a, a pretty good idea. Now, what you can learn from this is, you know, if you're, uh, if you're out here in, you know, if you go look up in the top left here in Park Valley Middle School, if you're out here at Park Valley uh, with your network connection, you, you've still got a one gigabit connection so it's it's pretty quick uh, but you have to hop through grouse and through Wendover and Wendover to Tooele and Tooele to Salt Lake and so you have to jump through a number of different pops or hops to get back into the network connection um, most of those look like they're um, they're pretty uh, pretty good connections uh, but let's say you, you extend it off some even slower connections say some 45 megabit connections like uh, Daggett School District, um, you'll notice that that's then your, your slow point in the process from Daggett to USU. If you look over here on the right hand side, there's, the, there's a slow part of that network. And, and, and you know, if you, if you extend this network worldwide, you're always going to find uh, slow segments in your path to a certain location. 
and and that's you know and that's um, that's something you need to know because if you're delivering if you're building out a website and delivering web services uh, across these networks and then you don't know what what that network looks like or where the slow paths are in that network and what that network can handle by way of data and moving things across it that can change the user experience for you know for the website that you're building so those are all handy little pieces and uh, of information and a, and a nice way to kind of visualize some of the infrastructure that we just talked about.